Day one of the fall geek out. Hmm. Was it successful? This morning I made a post on Reddit and was just trying to keep the uh, energy, I guess, going around this and share any information that I was finding as I was finding it. It seems that people were able to successfully get the products that they were looking for, which is awesome. So when it launched this morning, we saw a few items. We got a preview, basically, of the items that we were gonna get. So with that, we got Rock Soldier Imagery and Crooked Ninja, Usagi Yojimbo, the Stern Pinball Crate, which is uh, definitely worth it for that shredder. As expected, we got the Neutrino 3-pack. Kind of a surprise was the Leonardo as the Hunchback, because some people were getting that prior to this launch. And the items that were not TMNT was the Hello Kitty 2-pack, and two figures from Defenders of the Earth, which I don't know anything about. But while I was out today, I went to two targets that were near where I live. Obviously, why would I go out of my way? <laughs> So I go into the first one and it looks just as miserable as it has all month long. Now, keep in mind, I've only been searching for any of this stuff since the beginning of August. So I'm still very new to this, but my collection is growing way faster than it probably should. So I get into that first target. I speak with an employee, her and somebody else. They check and they come walking back out with the box over their shoulders. And I was like, okay, we got something. There were a few items that were not on the shelves and some that probably should have been out already. So speaking with them and the second target I went to, they haven't seen their NECA vendor in a very long time. And based on some of the stuff that I found or they found in these boxes, that seems to be the case. Nobody's been showing up to put anything out. So I go into the second target and same kind of scenario. I, I, I see this very large section that's been empty for a few days, missing tags. And then there's like a few NECA and other figures off to the right at the collector spot. But man, so I speak to an employee. She was awesome. She checked on her iPod and was looking for inventory. I gave her some names of the figures. We tried a few, a few different searches. Even things like the neutrinos would come up but say that there was zero in stock. There might be a different spot that these are boxed up at. So she comes back, we go up front. They had this little section in the middle of the store that was kind of walled off for overstock. And there they were. So we got lucky again in store number two, just by being friendly and asking employees if they were familiar or would mind checking. And they weren't in the system as far as their inventory goes, but they were there ready to be sold. So she pulled them out. Everything that was available went out on the shelves. I got what I needed and I was on my way. And thanks to a local friend that let me know about another Target last night that had April in stock. So I drove up there and while she wasn't on the website, of course, I did manage to get an April as Bride of Frankenstein. Talking about what I got isn't the same as showing you what I got. So let me show you how successful I was in my stores today, just mostly by asking for a little bit of help. Store number one got me Zack and Smash. They also got me Toka and Razor. Good God, what a great find that was. And then just for the sake of it, picked me up a little RoboCop. And store number two, the thing that they were out of, according to their system, the Neutrinos 3-pack. And while she was looking for these cartoon-style boxes, I said, hey, it looks like on the app, this is also available. Did you see anything with a darker box? And bam, I got it. So then I went down the road to the store that my friend told me about. I got my bride and then picked up a Ripley, because hey, why not? And aside from the stuff that I was able to get in store, I did check on the Target app and had luck with getting Usagi Yojimbo and the Stern Pinball Crate. So the big lesson from all of this, I think, is that if your local Target doesn't have anything and it looks like it's been a nightmare zone for a long time, like a wasteland, say, hey, you know, I, I there was this big event uh, that launched today. I don't see anything out. I know this NECA vendor stuff is kind of tricky, like it's, it relies on them to show up, but some of these locations don't even have vendors. You know how it goes, it's just the world we're in right now where employees are short staffed in these stores and even the targets are. So another reason to be kind. But who knows, if you go into your store, you ask, you might get lucky, I hope you do. So I hope it was as successful for you as it was for me, plus the two that are on order from Target, man. 
What a great day, and I hope this weekend, if not today, was just as great for you. Let me know down in the comments what figures you got, what you're waiting for, trying to get you a Monster Mikey, just like me. Yeah, and I need a Donatello. Anybody got one of those? And a Casey Jones. You know what? Let me get a Casey Jones ultimate figure, not the barn house, because that's what I got. Man, anyway, thanks for watching and uh, can't wait to start unboxing these and showing you what we got in detail.